indoor plants have certainly enjoyed a return to popularity. And today, I'm heading to a Perth home to meet Fessy Jojo, a collector who has taken things to a whole new level. Hello. Welcome. Wow. Look at this place. It's a forest. <laughs> it certainly is. Yeah. You've got so much height and natural light in this room. Things are just thriving. Yeah, pretty lucky with the light. And also, we've got double height ceiling, so I can grow big, big plants. Fessy's house is bursting with green. Superb specimens everywhere you look. This is quite uncommon. Philodendron golden dragon. The shape of the list looks like a dragon. And this is one of the new leaves. This one will grow bigger than this, I hope. Yeah. And how about this? Uh, Philodendron glorious. Quite big specimen with big leaves. What's the secret to getting big leaves inside? Uh, good light, of course. And these are the types of philodendron that likes to climb. So if you give them a pole or taught them to climb, they will give you bigger leaves. Now, this really does feel like an indoor jungle. Yeah, they gr I let them grow wild. <laughs> <laughs> it does feel wild. It's like the house has been colonised mm. by plants. Mm. Did you design the home with these plant arrangements in mind? Uh, we didn't design it with plants in mind, but we did design it for light. And at what point did you start to populate it with plants? Uh, I think when indoor plants made a huge comeback, probably about six to seven years ago, yeah, I started to bring them in and I can't stop. Fessy shares this house with her husband, Victor, the two kids and three dogs. For me, what makes this collection really stand out is how the plants fill the generous indoor spaces and soften the interior of the building. And it's not only inside. The magic continues seamlessly to the outside, with more plants hanging from every possible point. You've clearly thought about the connection of the outdoor spaces with the inside from the outset, because they flow so well. What was your thinking there? Uh, I like this courtyard to be the centre in the in the house, so I can see from my living room, I can see the courtyard from the dining and especially the kitchen, where you spend most of your time. This is where I keep all the plants that needing a little bit more attention, a bit more humidity. And do you do much of your own propagation? Yes, I do. Especially when you propagate, they do need uh, a little bit more attention. Like these potted plants, I just potted them up. They are ready, they are fully rooted. So the worm will make them grow better. And yeah. are there any special plants in here? Uh, probably that variegated fidelifi. It wasn't doing well inside, so I brought them back here. And once they look good, I'll bring it back inside. I've always loved plants as long as I can remember. Uh, I grew up in Indonesia. My parents had big gardens and also my dad worked in a forest, so he took me to the forest often. I think here, I think when we first got our own house, that's, that's when I started doing some gardening. I'm always in the garden. I did a plant count back about three months ago, inside only. I've got 558 inside. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> How much work is involved with looking after all the plants? It's a lot of work. A lot of people ask me, how do you do it? I think when you love something, you make time for it. It's a big job, but very rewarding. Every day is kind of like watering days. 
I try not to keep them in one day, so I'll spread them during the week. And also maintaining the pest is very important. I don't think I can keep all of them pest free, but then get them under control. That's the key. What's growing inside the cabinet, Fessy? They must be special. Very special. Uh, most of them are still babies, so they're quite fragile. So I try to keep them in this uh, mini glass house to keep the humidity high also. That variegated monstera, is it? Very interesting. Yeah, that's the monstera adansonia variegated. Quite special and it's not cheap. <laughs> so when you say not cheap, can I be so cheeky to ask? Yes, I bought a one leaf cutting, just one leaf, not established, just a cutting. Four thousand five hundred. <laughs> no. Yes, I'm obsessed with plants. You reckon? No wonder it's in a cabinet. I think you need a padlock as well. <laughs> That's how obsessed I am. <laughs> wow. An avid collector, Fessy also has other rare beauties, such as. Algonema picta, tricolor, Philodendron isulmanii, and the shingle leaf monstera dubii. To see greenery all around you uh, makes you feel calm and relaxed. Just being in nature makes you feel good, happy. Has your passion for indoor plants changed your life? Yes, definitely. My background is accounting. My parents encouraged me to do business, so I did my accounting degree, worked as a tax accountant for 15 years. But then I realised that's not my passion, so I decided to turn my hobby into a business. Working with plants every day, meeting people with the same similar interests, so it's a dream come true. Being in a green space like this makes you feel like you're in nature, even when inside. And whilst this kind of scale might be a bit big for most of us, it's certainly a great reminder of how the creative use of indoor plants can really enrich a home.